and welcome to Deku TV. So if it's your first time here, don't forget to like and subscribe. So for today's video, tuturuan namin kayo kung paano mag-register ng account sa Binance.com. So paano ka nga bang Binance? So Binance is what we use to buy and sell crypto. So cryptocurrency is what we use to exchange tokens. We're going to talk about that on our next videos. But for today, we're just going to show you how you can sign up or register uh, in a Binance account. And later on, we are going to show you how you can link your Binance sa inyong MetaMask account. So, make sure that you are going to the right website kasi maraming fake website at phishing sites. So, please check the description box. We are going to make sure to include the correct websites. So, first, we are going to go to Binance.com slash EN and we're going to go ahead and register. So, click on the register button. Now, there are two ways to register an account. So, either you are going to register with an email address or with your mobile. So, ano man yung convenience sa inyo, um, you can enter your mobile number or kung lagi naman kayo sa email, then let's use email. But for today's example, we're going to use an email address. So, all you have to do is to type in your email address. Oops. Okay, so type natin yung email address and make sure dapat alam yung password. So in this case, gagawa tayo ng password, yung preferred password nyo. So uh, pag gumagawa kayo ng password guys, just a tip, make sure na hindi nyo gagamitin yung first and last name nyo, hindi nyo gagamitin yung pangalan ng parents nyo or yung birthday nyo. Why? Because very prone yan sa hacking. So, ano bang magandang gamitin password? Ako, um, siguro ginagamit ko yung lugar na lagi ko pinupuntahan. And then, I add a series of numbers, tapos a special character. And then, what I do lagi um, as a tip para medyo high yung security is I always include an uppercase letter. So, kahit siguro yung um, start ng word ng password nyo or yung last. I mean, tapos kung hindi nyo naman siya maaalala or kung meron kayong challenge uh, magtanda ng password, you can always write it down and then, you know, keep it somewhere. Kung meron kayong notepad sa phone na pwede nyo lagyan ng password, you can also do that. Alright, so now since nakagawa na tayo ng password, uh, we just gonna have to create an account. So, press that yellow button at lalabas tong security verification. So, all you have to do is to put the puzzle on the right spot and there you go. So, we just have to wait for the verification email. So, very very quick lang itong marilisit. So, puntahan lang natin ang ating email and let's check for the verification. So, sabi ko sa inyo guys, diba, sobrang bilis lang niya. So, copy lang natin yung activation code. Copy and then let's go back to Binance.com. Paste it. And there you have it. Okay, so how do we start nga by using Binance? So, all you have to do is click on my dashboard. So, it will also show you and uh, provide you uh, two-factor authentication. So, para sa nga ba yung two-factor um, authentication? Actually, this will make your account more secure. So, hindi lang password ang kailangan. It's either um, you can also verify via Google or a phone verification. So, aside from putting in your password, um, pag pinili nyo yung phone verification, magsisend pa siya ng code para lang mas safe. Pero pwede siyang gawin later on. So, dahil dyan, meron tayong account, how do we start using this? So, pag pumunta kayo dito sa wallet, um, pwede nyo makita yung mga other features niya. So, how do we uh, start to buy crypto? Now, naka-default siya sa euro. So, syempre, naman tayo sa euro. So, let's change that to peso. So, search for PHP. At pwede kang mag-buy um, using uh, P2P trading. So, ito yung mga uh, nagsisell ng kanilang crypto. You can also buy uh, using your credit or debit card uh, just by entering your debit card number, 
si CV code at yung expiration date. So, most often than not, uh, P2P, uh, P2P trading yung ginagamit. Okay, so now dahil naka-default siya sa Chinese Yuan, we're gonna change it to PHP. Okay. So, ayan. So, dahil naka-default siya sa USDT, ito yung type ng crypto um, na inibili to exchange to tokens. So, bakit nga ba USDT? Bakit mas gusto natin bilhin ng USDT? Why? Because very stable to kumpara sa ibang um, cryptocurrency. Kasi sumasabay siya sa US dollars. So, kung makikita nyo, yung price niya is nag-range lang siya kung magkano yung palitan ng dollar at saka ng peso. So, pag tinignan nyo, uh, may kita nyo may limit dyan. So, may minimum amount to purchase. So, kung meron kayong 15,000 pesos, pwede siyang bilhin uh, for 50 pesos and 75 cents. Pero, syempre, dahil nag-start pa lang tayo and you don't have, let's say, for example, wala kang ganyang kalaking budget, you can always search for like yung 1,000 lang or um, even lower than 1,000. So, meron. So, maghahanap ka lang. So, Meron dito, uh, minimum niya is 1,000. Saan na yun? Napin natin. So, 1,000. And, ang yung payment option niya is bank transfer. So, uh, pwede mo siyang i-buy, but make sure that um, you are doing or you are gonna be making sure to pay via bank transfer. Dahil hindi pa natin na-verify at na-validate ang ating account, we need to enable SMS authentication and of course, complete KYC verification. Ano ba yung KYC? So, KYC stands for Know Your Customer. So, dito, pag enable nyo siya, tatanyin ka lang niya ng personal verification. So, you need this. Um, you need to make sure na complete mo siya. At of course, um, lagay niyo yung totoong information niyo. Okay? So, sasabihin niyo dyan kung gano'ng katagal yung review time at ano ang uh, mga kailangan niyo. So, pagka-intermediate, uh, pwede kayo mag-upload ng government ID. Uh, it's also gonna ask you for facial verification. And medyo mas matagal yung review time. So, we're gonna use the basic for the meantime. So, verify one day. So, ano ba yung last name? Um, and then first and last name and of course your date of birth so once you're done uh, with all the information and you already uh, fill that in just continue and wait for the verification all right so let's say for example nakapag verify na kayo so let's use a verified account let's Log this out. So, how do you log out? So, just click on this um, human icon at press nyo lang ang... Okay, ayaw nyo ma-press. <laughs> okay, so press nyo lang yung... Okay, log out. Okay, so babalik kayo sa home page. Now, before we even log in with a verified account, we're gonna show you how you can sign up naman for MetaMask. So, yung MetaMask, um, you need to make sure again na tama yung website na pinupuntahan nyo. So, si MetaMask, available siya as Google extension. So, we need to make sure na tama yung site. Again, so, MetaMask.io is the correct location. So, it's either you're gonna download or you're gonna, uh, of course, wanna make sure that it is the correct one. So, we will include this on the description box. So, dahil meron na akong MetaMask, if wala pa kayong MetaMask sa inyong browser, all you have to do is to click on Download Now and it will ask you kung ano yung pagda-downloadan nyo. So, either sa Chrome website or browser, kung naka-iOS man kayo at kung meron kayong Android phone. But in this case, we're gonna use uh, Chrome browser. So, um, we're gonna click on install MetaMask for Chrome at i-install niya yung extension. So, kung wala pa kayong MetaMask extension, 
Um, nakita nyo dyan. So, try natin i-remove. So, remove natin. Okay, remove. So, pag uh, wala pa kayong Metamask extension, um, ito yung lalabas. So, pag kinlik nyo yung download, we just need to add the extension. Okay. So, let's just have to wait for that to be installed. So, make sure meron kayong antivirus as well. So, hintayin lang natin siyang matapos. Pinig mo na kayo ng music. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Successfully added na siya at mag-automatic pop-up siya. So, let's get started. So, kung bago kayo mag-create ng account, so, we are gonna go ahead and click on Create a Wallet. So, again, always make sure that you are on the right website or on the right extension kasi madaming fake. But don't worry, we're gonna include that sa description box. So, always check that. Okay, so we are agreeing um, to what MetaMask is saying and we're just gonna also create a password here. So, ako ang ginagawa ko para hindi ko siya makalimutan. Um, minamatch ko yung password ko sa Binance and sa Metamask para isang password lang yung tinatandaan ko. Okay, make sure to tick the box or check the box that says I have read and agreed to the terms and condition or terms of use and let's create. Okay, so this time, it's gonna ask you to secure your wallet. So, um, meron siyang very quick video on how you can Reco you, you know, get your recovery phrase and how, of course, to make sure that your wallet is safe. So, very quick lang tong video na to. Um, it's just gonna talk about how you can uh, save your recovery phrase, how you can also um, make sure na safe yung account ka. So, let's just click on next. So, ano ba yung secret back of phrase? So, secret Secret back of phrase is actually like a secondary password or ito yung pagka nakalimutan nyo yung password nyo tapos uh, kailangan nyo um, mag-reset ng password or kailangan nyo um, i-reset yung password. Make sure to memorize yung secret back of phrase nyo or ito yung mas kilalang pinatawag na secret phrase. So, please never share this seed phrase with anyone. Um, pag kami nagtanong sa inyo kung ano yung seed phrase nyo, please don't give it out. So, kiklik nyo lang siya kung ano yung inyong secret phrase or yung seed phrase nyo. At uh, for uh, better, ako ginagawa, pinipicturean ko siya sa phone ko so para hindi ko siya makalimutan. And then, dahil mayroon na kayong copy, you just have to go next. Tapos, ipapakonfirm sa inyo ano yung seed phrase. So, ano nga ba yung seed phrase ko? So, based on sa picture ko, pipiliin nyo lang siya kung ano yung pagkakasunod ng seed phrase nyo. So, gawin lang natin siya very quick. So, medyo mahaba siya, guys. Um, again, this is gonna make your account secure at huwag nyo siyang ibigay. Kung kahit na kanino, kahit na sa nanay nyo, sa asawa nyo. Um, <laughs> so again, pagka meron silang access sa seed phrase or sa secret back of phrase nyo, pwede nilang ma-access yung wallet nyo. So be very careful. So ano na next word ko? Sorry, ang daldal -dal natin. Okay, and then confirm. Okay, so this is telling us na good na yung account natin. At... Uh, pwede natin siya ma-access. Okay. So, sabi dito, yung seed phrase, dati, ito yung mas kilala. It's now secret recovery phrase. So, um, pwede nyo rin iscan to. Uh, matik, magda-download. Pag giniscan nyo to using your camera tapos yung phone nyo connected sa internet, automatic magda-download yung metamask sa inyong mga cellphone. Okay, so let's close that. At meron na kayong Metamask wallet. Okay, so guys, if you have um, 
any other questions, feel free to comment down below. We're gonna try to answer your questions. Um, follow our FB page as well, DecuTV. On our next video, we're gonna talk about how we can create the um, networks depende sa token na bibilihin nyo or gagamitin nyo. Thank you for watching. You have a good day. Stay safe. Bye! -bye.